Hey everybody, it's Matt with Matt in the Hat Reviews. We got a very special edition of Matt in the Hat Review today. We will review our last 2017 of the year. Also, a very special day as I got a new driving cap for your viewing pleasure. But today's vehicle that we are going to test drive is going to be the 2017 Hyundai Veloster. The Veloster was first produced in 2011 and it comes in four different styles. The Turbo, the Turbo r -Spect, the Veloster, and the Veloster Value Edition, which this is the Value Edition. This replaced the Rally Edition that ran from 2016 only. It comes with the Blue Link connected car system, automatic temperature control with auto defog. It's got the panoramic sunroof, 18 inch alloy wheels. See right there. Uh, comes with a Dimension Premium Audio system with eight speakers. And here's a look at the panoramic sunroof. It's a compact car, more of a rally style, more of a smaller, uh, I would call it a city car. And it comes with 132 horsepower, 1.6 liter GDI four cylinder, six speed eco shift dual clutch transmission. And it also has the proximity key with the push button start. And we'll open the tailgate. See that in a room. Is classified as a hatchback, and with the hatchback door open, it is technically a four-door car because on the driver's side just has one door, but the passenger side has a front door, and then on the passenger side, you have a rear entry door. And it has seats four. As you can see, there's a cup holder area in the middle. You'd be hard pressed to get more than four people, at least more than four adults, in this vehicle. It's rated for a 31 average on gas, 28 in the city, 35 in the highway. It's low to the ground, sporty with the panoramic sunroof, and the value edition gives it a great base model if you're looking for a lot of features since its inception in 2011 the Veloster has received mixed reviews uh, it's not sporty enough for sports car enthusiasts and it's not I don't know economical enough for compact enthusiasts it's a it's a it's a hybrid of both or I don't want to say hybrid it's a combination of both uh, it is sporty and compact. This is, I mean, I would compare it more to like a, a Mini Cooper than a Accent or a, you know, Yaris. Something small or like, I guess maybe the Chevy Cruze. Like it's, it's, it's not like that. It's designed to be sportier. It's designed to have a better feel. And with the value addition, I mean, you can get a sports car feel with excellent gas mileage and great standard feature, seven inch display for uh, your rear view cam, seven inch display for your audio, your entertainment package. And it's a great car for city driving. Like if you have to pull into a lot of places, park a lot of places, places parallel park a lot of places, uh, it's a perfect fit for that. And I would, I mean, I'd kind of call it a weekend car or like a, uh, a commuting car. You do have uh, cruise control, you do have all the amenities all the buttons on the on the steering wheel uh, you got a back wiper on your back hatch where it it's 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 like it's a combination of several things now it doesn't have a great deal of space but like I am just below the panoramic ceiling or panoramic sunroof ceiling It's, I mean, but it's, 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 it's for someone who wants a sports car, but doesn't want to have the issues that a sports car has. Uh, you do have four seats. You do have a third door access, plus the hatch in the back to get to the back seat access. You got a push button ignition start that's in the center console that makes it almost feel more like a, a spaceship than a car. I mean, it's just a fun little car to drive. It's nothing, 
you know, sports car enthusiasts are gonna say what they want, but this has the paddle shifters on the steering wheel if you wanted to put in manual mode and, you know, speed shift with the best of them. Uh, the, the engine, 132 horsepower, produces a lot of torque, produces a lot of speed with this lightweight car. And then you can open it up the top to where it's almost a convertible with that panoramic sunroof at a car this size. All right, now we got the five buck challenge. Now we are flashing empty right now. Let's put five bucks in and see what we get. All right, I go 87, gas 209 a gallon, so 210. Let's get the problem. 2.383 gallon per minute. Alright, that puts us at two bars above empty. Uh, looks like that's just under a quarter of a tank, but we've got a range of 86 miles with the vehicle. Alright, we just got done with our test drive of the Veloster. Um, I mean, it's a quirky little car. It's it's got the three doors plus the hatchback. It's got the panoramic sunroof, so you can literally open it up and you're right there. It doesn't have as much headroom as I would like, but I'm 6'2", over 300 pounds. Uh, it's a, it's different from everything else out there in the compact market is what I want to say. Like it's, it's got style to it. It's got, you know, it's different. It's not like a little shoebox that you're driving around just kind of bored with it's got standard features where you sit in it and you feel like it's a sports car and then i mean the gas mileage is great the size is great it's great for traffic sitting in and out of traffic uh zooming in i mean it's it's a good little car you know it's 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 a compact car for somebody who wants something sporty something different from everybody else plus it comes with the best warranty in america Five year, 60,000 mile new car warranty, five year unlimited miles roadside assistance, 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty. And like I said, we, we've got we've got two in stock right now, but we're we may be getting more. The 2018s are coming in soon. This was the last 2017 I'll drive for Hyundai. You can come down and look at the vehicles yourselves. 2100 Highway 39 North Meridian. Uh, the old Randy Harrison's building across from the Coca-Cola bottling plant. But until next time, when we go to the future, travel to 2018, next week's video, this is Matt in the Hat. Got the new hat. New year, new model year at least. And we'll see you then.